the process of buying a fix and flip home. And as it's a lengthy process, um, it can be, I mean, there's many ways that it can be done. So the first thing you want to do is have your goal in mind, what your end goal is in mind um, before you start planning. So whatever your end goal is, meaning how much you're wanting to make on the property, um, that's going to depend on what type of property you purchase. Um, you also want to make sure that you have the correct amount You want to make sure that you have the correct amount in place. So we have a form that we use for walking our properties to find out what we are going to need to spend in the process. But your first step is going to be knowing what your end goal is. So you're going to have to do some goal planning, some goal setting. Um, for it, I would say if you've planned for your business for the year, um, then you can break that down to how many projects you want for the year and that can kind of give you what you need to look for. There's a plethora of amounts that can go into this process. Um, so you want to be sure that you are looking for the correct property for your goals. So your first thing after you know what your goal is, how much you're looking to make, most investors are looking for at least a 20 to 30 percent return on investments from any property that they um, purchase. It is imperative, imperative, first off, is that you get to know the market that you're looking to buy in. It would be detrimental to you and your business to go in and purchase a property um, just off of a whim, unless it's just such a great deal. I mean, if the neighborhood that the house is in is $160,000 and they sell it to you for $20,000, you'd be crazy not to. Um, at the most, a rewire house is $10,000. So um, if nothing else, you can get you and a couple of friends to paint and hang back kitchen cabinets and stuff like that where you can make a killing on that property. So um, that would be like a no brainer deal. I really don't need to do research on this property, um, but you're gonna to want to see what type of work you need to put in the property, regardless of what property it is on there. I have bought properties like that. Um, the neighborhood comped out in the 160s, 170s price range. The purchase price for us was $20,000. Um, for the house. They just wanted to get rid of it. Um, the lady had passed already and the house been sitting vacant for 10 years and they're like, we just need it gone. Just need it gone. We're tired of paying taxes on it. Tired of being reminded about the taxes and then having to scrounge to do it. So there are those deals that are out there. You just want to make sure that it's the deal for you and it fits into your goal planning, your business planning, your structure planning. So that's going to be huge when it comes to this one here. So the first thing you're going to do is find the area that you want to find a property in. Um, once you know your market, that's going to be kind of told to you. You're going to know which areas are good areas for fix and flips. You can go back and do a search on um, within the last three months where the cash buyers are buying houses at, where the cash buyers are buying properties at, that will give you a huge clue as to where the uh, rehabbing is going, which areas they're going into, where the money's at. Um, and you can go against the grain of that if you want. Uh, if it's your first fix or flip, I would probably tell you not. Um, you might be better suited jumping in where the big fish are at um, if it's your first time fishing. You know, if it's your first time fishing, you don't want to go on a stream all by yourself where only a few fish are, are down there. So it really depends on 
what you're looking to do. Um, so that would be the first step is to know your market. Once you know your market, you'll find a property. Um, you'll do your calculations. Um, once you run the numbers for that fix or flip, um, and we'll do another video on how to run the numbers for your fix and flip. Once you run those numbers, that will let you know if that property is something that you can put a bid on. A bid is an offer. You can so solicit, or excuse me, submit an offer to the seller for that property. A lot of times the properties that you're going to find are not going to be on the MLS. Um, I actually encourage you not to find properties on the MLS to go out and source your own listings. There are so many of them that are not on the market. Um, and when I say market, I mean MLS. So you would go out and find that property. You're going to want to interview contractors, um, general contractors and subcontractors. Um, a general contractor is just one that oversees the entire project for you. Um, they usually charge something on top of what the contractors charge them. So nine times out of ten, there's going to be an upcharge is what it's called. Um, you're going to want detailed information about the property and what repairs need to be done. So you're going to walk the properties that you're deciding on. Um, I have some videos in the group of me walking properties saying out loud exactly what we're thinking that will need to be done to these properties. Um, if you join our group, um, our class, you'll see more of those in that uh, group there. So you can, um, you want to walk the properties, write down every single thing all the way down to replace the floorboard on the right corner in the living room. I mean, everything. Write every single thing down. Replace the hand towel rack in the main bathroom on the main floor. It's currently gold, needs to change to silver or, or whatever it is. But you want every single thing written down because when you give it to your general contractor or your contractor, they usually charge you based on how you have that stuff written out. Um, that's a whole nother conversation is working with contractors, how to work with contractors, negotiating with contractors. You don't want to take their first price that they give you. You want to off. You want to negotiate and have them give you line items. For it. This night. There's tons of different ones that you can use to get that information. 